Side Jim Laugerson, and these are the next four matches on offer then on court number one. Starting off with the men's doubles, couple of men's doubles actually. But uh, first up is the Chinese pair there, you can see Li Junhui and Liu Yuchen up against Ku Kien Kiat and Tan Bun Hyong. And of course, for Tan in particular, and uh, for Ku. This uh, a match of great meaning. I wonder whether this will be the last time we see them as a pair together, because if they bow out here in this men's doubles match, that will be that coup is calling it a day. And Tan will be off with his uh, new partner. And they're up against a young pair here from China who are on the rise, where, of course, for Ku and Tan, it's a farewell. But will it be a memorable swan song. They are ranked, or should say seeded, number 10 here, Ku and Tan. That despite the fact that their world ranking, of course, has plummeted, due to the fact that, of course, Ku just hasn't played any competitive badminton now for six or seven months. Here are their opponents then, Liu and Li. And uh, they're on the rise, up to 19 in the world. The world junior champions, Asian youth champions of uh, 2013. Winner of a Grand Prix gold event as well this year. That was in India. And they got to the final in their last event as well, the Open Chinese Taipei event. So they are quite a formidable partnership. Look how cool. He's looking nice and relaxing. He's obviously going to go out there, Jim, today with the feeling of it, enjoying it, because this is it. This is his international farewell. This is his last match. Before yeah. he goes back to Thailand to coach, he's, he's, he's not played any competitive badminton either no. for, for such a long time. And they know it's going to be a tough one ahead of them here, the Malaysian pair. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and you can say this is the last chance for achieving that goal that everybody in Malaysia has been looking for for that many years to take home that gold. Um, I mean, they haven't realistically got a chance of gold, have they? There's always a chance when you have such a good player. But um, let, we, we'll have to see fitness-wise and playing-wise, how ready he is. Well, their best results at a World Championships, Ku and Tan, uh, finalists in 2010. They've competed in every World Championship since 2007. Last year, they were knocked out in the second round by uh, Kim Ki-jung and Kim sa -rang. First round by here this year, whereas uh, their opponents came through in round one against the Scots, Martin Campbell and Patrick McHugh. Never met before, and uh, well, one pair seeded, but uh, their world ranking is uh, plummeted, and uh, one pair not seeded, but they are in the top 20 of the world. 62 now the position for Kuantan as far as their world ranking is concerned, but it's not about that, is it? It's about a, a partnership that goes back eight years that ended in February after Ku's decision to quit the national team. Really nice, I suppose, that on a big stage like this, they can just give it one last go. Of course, and uh, fantastic badminton players. I always felt they've had a tremendous potential, but I never really feel that they have fulfilled it. Love uh, watching them. I've always loved watching them, and especially the, the guy we see here, Ko. Um, Technique-wise and all these things, incredible. So we're just about ready Ladies to get underway. On my right, Yu Chen Yu, Yung Fu Yile, China. And on my left, Dan Bo Chung, Ko Kien Kien, Malaysia. Ko Kien Kien to serve to Yu Chen Yu. Global, Lei. But of course, it's a world championship second round match, but there's no doubt what the story is. That man there, who... Uh, is pummeling down the smash, Kuki and Kiat. Tan with that power shot as well. Can they go out on a high? Can they beat this Chinese pair? Couple of points to start with. Yeah, well, Love. with such skills and anything can happen. And the day, the way the men's double is played today, with a lot of service and service returns and that third shot. Where it doesn't really get that stamina-wise really hard. 
Uh, there, there was a possibility if the, the Chinese pair doesn't get oh! the Malaysian pair out and running a little bit. But so far what we've seen in this tournament is that it is a little bit easier in this tournament to get out of the service situation. So let's see, let's see how that goes. I must say though that we're already seeing here in the beginning how, how good Tan and Co actually is at, at covering the first three shots. Up the pace now, the Chinese pair. <laughs> well, first world championships for them, whereas it's the last one, of course, for Ku. It feels like one era starting here, another ending. Yeah. But of course, not an easy game for the Chinese pair as well. They know the, you know, they know what the Malaysian pair is capable of. So, well, they're, for, they're a former number one in the world. Yeah, pair, so aren't they? Even, so. even though that they can probably see that, uh, and, had, and of course realize that the, that the Malaysian pair hasn't played for a while, and they might Five, have a big, big chance four. of winning this one. It, it's still very difficult. Like, we're not getting. While well, having Ko having a go at me, I can say I've seen him be f being fitter than we can see here. So, um, listen, he retired, didn't he? Yeah. So, <laughs> and that's fair enough. In February, and he's uh, been coaching. Uh, yeah. I, I know exactly how that is. So, so <laughs> um, but they can see that as well. But don't get fooled by that. He can still play. Very, he's got all the shots, hasn't yeah. he? Pretty close to playing one there as well. Just wide. Five or early stages, but a Service missed order. serve. <laughs> Six, five. Huh. New putting his serve into the net. Oh, um, difficult for Seven, them to get out of the first three five. shots. It's uh, an interesting combination it's been, hasn't it, Ku and Tan? I mean, some real highs. They won the gold medal at the Asian Games back in 2006, the first gold Malaysian won in 36 years. Commonwealth champions, 2010. First Malaysian pair to win the All England in 25 years. Yeah, hero status back in Malaysia because of that. And yet, there's, there's going to be some regrets over what's happened over the last eight years. I've, I've definitely regrets and looking from the other side from the behind the table always had tremendous respect for, for, for the way they play and the skills they have and just a pleasure to watch and I never really feel that they fulfilled their potential and I think it already started when they were big favorites in at the world championship in their home country where they they lost to, uh, to the Japanese pair and ever since then I kind of felt you know people thought oh wait a minute uh, before that, they were pretty unbeatable, but they can actually be nervous and they can actually have weaknesses. And ever since that, I, I think that it's been pretty hard for them because they've been, everybody's been saying they have to win the World Championship or Olympic gold, which is a tough task. When you're in the same area as a giant, uh, I mean, what a point that was, for example. Yeah. You know, Koo was on his knees there playing the flat exchanges, and, and, and then Tan at the back. Look at that. You know? that's, what, that's what you can do. And he, Tan is still up there, you know. And, <laughs> and they can be one of the most exciting men's doubles pair to watch, can't yeah, they? In terms of, you know, from a, from a neutral standpoint definitely. here. I'm going to miss them so much because they got that 
extra thing, I think. Something like this. Fantastic start for them as well, and Lee and Liu have got to try and work this out here. But they seem like they're having fun. And but there's no pressure, no, is there? And you can see that's probably what they should have done the last eight years. Easier said than done, yeah, I know, but, but that's what they could, you know, if they could have worked a little bit more on that mental aspect of the game and, you know, I, I don't know what they've been working with, but, but it looked, didn't look like they, they were comfortable and didn't look like they were enjoying it at some point. Especially no, not on Coast side, but here he's just loose and, you know, we can see what can happen. So 11-7 is the interval lead. Yeah, there have been uh, some really good articles I've been reading in the build-up to these championships. Ku saying that one piece of advice he gives to the guys that are state, don't make the mistakes I have made. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously a lot of questions over his focus at times. You know, he's a flamboyant extrovert character, and I suppose that, that yeah, translates seven. sometimes not into the most, at times, professional way you want him to behave. No, and but what, let me put it oh. in this way. This is, this is fantastic that he goes out and say that. I think that's the... Oh. That's just class. Yeah, you can actually accept that you've had yeah. things you could have done much better. And, and that's the best advice you can give to the next ones coming up. Uh, I totally agree to, with him. Uh, I have the same oh! things. No, I wasn't the class of him, but Nine. you know that's the advice you can give yeah. young people. You know, this this time that he's been through is not going to come back, and you can't really change it. These things you have this one career, and you, it's not coming back. So make the most of it when you're there. But he still seemed like he had pretty, pretty much fun yeah, with no, everything. No, no. So. Oh, he did. He looks <laughs> like he had fun, and he, you know, and listen. Nine. He's achieved a lot more than many, many other badminton oh, players. Definitely. definitely. Oh. But that's part of being a professional badminton player and being a top player. When you talk about talent, well, it's also come in, training hard every day, structuring what you eat, don't go out, you know, all these things. You have to have that gene as well, where you you, have, you can make those decisions right. Yeah, and, and listen, you, you you can see just from the way he plays what sort of character he is, and mm. sometimes it's just not in your makeup, is it? Yeah. But look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, partner. Yeah. <laughs> we don't see that now. You know, there's not that many players out there no. that can do this. And it bamboozled the opposition, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, it does border on genius, doesn't it? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. And it, right now, it's very frustrating, yeah. frustrating for the Chinese pair because they really want to get the rallies going. And they don't seem to have any rallies going. That means that's fine for, for Ko and Tan. They enjoy this game. Oh. Chinese pass simply can't, they can't figure out. Go on 10. Mm -hmm. 18, 10. And they're winning the shuttles or the rallies pretty easily, so they're not really working hard for it. Yeah. 
Just long. There's been a few upsets today. You may have heard the roars there. It's because the uh, number 15 seeds have just gone out in the men's doubles. Hirokatsu Hashimoto and Noriyasu Hirata gone out to the uh, Indian pair of uh, Manu Atri and Sumit Reddy. So a bit of an upset there, not, not as big an upset as obviously earlier in the day when the oh. number one seeds went out in the women's doubles. 14, 18. Yeah, Bao Yusin and Tang Jinhua going out to an Indonesian pair of Awanda and Harris. Oh, that's good. Good covering by Tan. Oh, no. Stopping the bleeding. 19, 14. Well, good runner points there, the, the Chinese players. We have to remember, taking to that these is young Chinese players. They yeah, they're 19. They're falling for all the tricks. They're 19. Yeah. They're, they're they're rookies, aren't they? Yeah. You know, all these things. They 20. so game point. they Six, have to learn 14. this. Six game points. It's been a harsh lesson for them, that's for sure. In this opening game, six game points here. <laughs> bamboozled, that's all you can say. They've been bamboozled by a definitely brilliant flamboyant display by Kuki and Gyad and Tam Boon Hyong here. What a terrific performance in that opening game. Nonchalant at time. But you see that soft shot he uses there, Tan, and you can see the two Chinese players are standing with their racket up and waiting him for, to push it. He's not going to do that. He's just going to play that one soft. If you look here again, look, both ready for the flat and then just nice and easy puts it into the call so he has to create something with the shuttle himself and they can play it fast they can play it flat but yeah, they can but they know they're waiting and then maybe next time it will come and then they've gotten the chinese pair out of the position well maybe it won't be farewell today ku and tan 21 14 first game in 12 minutes so they haven't worked that hard for it either plenty of plenty of energy left But you can just see how relaxed they are. Yeah, they've had their moments. They've had their arguments. They've had their tiffs, I suppose. Yeah. You know, when you're in these partnerships, you've been in them, Jim. You know, it's not going to be plain sailing. But apparently when they won the gold medal at the Asian Games, they weren't even talking to each other. No. Sometimes that helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lee and Liu here. Uh, but they've yeah, got some working out to do. They're a talented pair, yeah. no doubt about it themselves. Well, will it be more of the same, or will we see a, a fight back here from the Chinese pet? Who oh. just couldn't quite get that out of his body. One Malaysian pair went out earlier on this court when uh, Kovi Shem and Dim Kim Wa had to retire in the second game against the number six seeds who will face the winner of this match. So it's Li Sheng Wu and Sai Jia Sin who are the opponents awaiting in the third round. Call it the third round, call it the last 16, whichever you fancy. Oh, fantastic. Oh, 
Yes. Fantastic rally. How can you not enjoy this? <laughs> <laughs> we know you know why he's called Koo, because you're cooing every time he <laughs> plays one of those. Uh, oh. Just why. Thought about that. But look at that rally. This is what Great. men's double is all about. And this is the first time we've really seen that. And yeah. we go back to the debate we had yesterday, you know, let's have this all the time. It's all the rallies like this. Because then we can really see how good these doubles players are nowadays. Sure. They can really play. Oh! Well, good focus oh. start, isn't it, from Liu and Lee? And that's where this is. It's gonna sound really old, but this is youth. <laughs> you know, there's no reason why he should hard, hit hard. That just come in with drop shot. Have patience. The longer the rallies are, the better it is for the Chinese players. And 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 Ko and Tan are that good in defense. You're not just gonna hit it through them on a smash. The they they will get it back so as many times as they like. You have to build it up, get them out of balance. Four, oh. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, Last year they won the World Junior Championship. They are obviously destined for good things. Not always the case, is it? You translate from winning a World Junior to, to no. making among the big boys. Mm, definitely not. <laughs> I won the, the mixed up I never won the real. Come on, Jim. Yeah, they, <laughs> they I put yourself there. <laughs> well, I didn't win the senior one. Sure. Well, I, okay. didn't, I didn't play mixed double as a senior, so. Uh. But. I think you can pretty much see many of them will be, be up there. You can say the guy I beat in the final at that time was Kim Dong Moon, and he he won the Olympic gold in mixed double and men's double. So there is kind of a guideline on, on the world junior who's going to be successful. wonder what you were saying I mean the last thing Ku and Tan need is a, a third game we have to question Ku's fitness here don't we really given I'm sure he's been training hard but lack of match fitness if anything else um, he's, you know what I, match fixes what uh, match wise I think he's okay he looks really good but I think the fitness thing that you know, can come into play as we see here that was Probably the smallest jump I've ever seen from him. So, so as we look at that, that's that's down to fitness. That would never have happened before. See, he can't. He's trying to. He's, he's even smiling. So I think that's more or less the case. He's he's so skillful. He's so talented that he would be one of those guys. You know, there's some just some guys that even that they haven't played for a long time, they can just play. And I think he's one of them. But I will doubt the fitness. So the longer this game will go, the, the more he will have to make very tough decisions. But you also see he just keeps the net. He's not really... Doesn't, good smash. He doesn't really want to go to the backcourt and work hard. So their plan, of course, is to get Kovas forward all the time to try and keep the net. And then Tan just have to come with his hard smashes from the backcourt. But the Chinese much better here. They are, they're up there. They know he's going to play the net a lot, so they're up there, both of them just playing it back and then waiting for their chances. It's good to see. They've already learned a lot from that first game. Yeah. Okay. 
and he's really hitting it hard, but he's always been a hard hitter. So Combat this Chinese pair now growing in confidence, working things out and playing very well now. Oh! Lee and Liu. 11, six, interval. Oh, it's a good lead for them now, isn't it? And uh, you have to say odds on that we're going to have a third game here. Just trying to play a tight net shot there. Tang caught the net court, came back to him. 11, six. He's not hitting hard, he's hitting more of a build-up smash to come forward. Service so we can take seven, twelve. the net away. You, 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 you. have to be careful the Chinese they need to keep building up we see here they, they build it up and eventually they will get the chance but they're making the Malaysian pair work hard which is what they have to yeah. really really hitting hard service over 13 7 what a defense he still has go <laughs> Wide. Service over eight thirteen. So, what do you think, Jim? I mean, is this 
opportunity gone now for the Malaysian pair? Or no, I, 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 I would always say that with so running skull, third set, eight. anything can happen. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take out the Malaysians yet. Okay. Oh, they're still in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. A six-point gap. But, but if it should come to a third set, no, you always have enough power for a third game, I think. So okay. But Especially when it could be your last in badminton. Definitely when it could be your last. So there shouldn't be any worries about anything. and You'll still have a good time if you lose. <laughs> Credit to Lee and uh, his partner Liu as well because 15, nine. they are playing some super stuff here as well. Oh, look at that. Absolutely amazing. When you that's just so go, you know. Possible shot, he takes it between your legs. Oops. <laughs> And we're going to miss that. And, and, and you know what? And you, it comes to you down the other end, and that's why the the, the overhead was missed, wasn't yeah. it? It's like, what, huh? <laughs> it's 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 a little bit, in a way, you know. It's also been his downfall. He's yeah. It's a he, time and a place sometimes, yeah, and he, he, he has, hasn't always found the right time and place. He's able to do anything. So he, and it's also sometimes when I've seen him play, he used it at the wrong times. Um, but he just can't help it. He's that good. So because you can get bored in the game, can't you? It's like it's coming back. It's coming yeah. back. It's coming back. <laughs> See, he's basically trying to come forward to the net every time, and now here, yeah, only a three-point gap now. Yeah, six, it was six, wasn't it? Yeah. And this yeah. is the smart play. This is nice and easy. You see, he plays it there, the soft one into the middle of the court. And the two young Chinese player has to learn that they can't go for it all the time. They won't. It won't matter anyway, because Kowantan is so good in defense anyway. So. Have some more patience. Oh, oh, well played. Serve is over. 16, 12. That's beautiful. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that, is no, it? Oh, absolutely beautiful. And he, he knows that he has to play like that. It's me! That was incredible! Please don't stop after this, Cole. I'm afraid the decision's made, but <laughs> that was unbelievable! <laughs> oh, what a point! Point of the championships! Absolutely stunning! What a legend! That is amazing. Okay. You don't have... There's none of these players left. We, we need to see it earlier yeah. as well. Never mind the winning shot, which he <laughs> does as well. But well, look at that that's one. That's it. There you go. Oh! <laughs> and he didn't. He didn't sit back and soak it up either, oh, because smiling. he had to then get it back again. And look how he's enjoying it. Oh, well, I'm glad the uh, the umpires let him to have a little rub down after that, because uh, we can take it all in. Yeah. Brilliant. 13, 16. He's one of a kind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three point gap still. This is something for the like the two young Chinese players there. They played the perfect point. 14, they, you know, 16. Of course they're frustrated. And this is what I would call a frustrating point. The next one, you know, wow, we should have won. And now we're going a little bit too much for it. So it's, it's worrying times. It's very worrying times for the Chinese pair right now. Yeah, five of the last six points have gone the Malaysian oh! way. Yeah. But there you go, they've got one back there. That was important. 17, 14. <laughs> oh! Incredible.
incredible return by 10. Service over. 15, 17. This is the very vital point. Can they close this gap to one only? And they can. And this is where, you know, now we're up to where 16, in this game, 17. going 10 can see the end of the light of the tunnel. Can you say that? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> the light of the end of the tunnel. That's exactly that, yeah. Yeah. And therefore, well, well, well now that fatigue and fitness and everything. Well, goes, now they're five points away from victory. Yeah. So that goes away. You can always find that extra ah. gear. It's not one all. Seventeen all. Seventeen all. Wow. <laughs> and it was ever since that he took those three shots behind the legs. That's why they win on this run. So that you can pretty much say that was a momentum changer. And they're frustrated, the Chinese pair right now. They need to really step it up now. Be very disciplined in what they do. And you can see that again. Ever since that happened, they've gone a little bit too much for it. They need to <clears throat> uh, it's too, he tried to take a challenge then, it was too late, and I think that's the right call. He should have done it straight away. I think it was out anyway. But that's frustration. That's, you know, oh, we need a break. We need to get into this. But that could be difficult now. It's just wide. It's just wide. Goodness Uncle, me. Uncle is so tired. He is. <laughs> he can hardly walk. He tried to roll that one down. And you can see he's basically just moving forward and driving. He's not interested in being on the backcourt at all. And they're having a good time. And that is, this is very difficult for the Chinese pair right now. Man, it's been a uh, wonderful entertainment. First and foremost. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Match points. Match points for Ku and Tan. So. Maybe today is not the day to say goodbye. No, but... 17. It's really... Yeah. <laughs> Time to do your shoelaces. Uh, you can see it on the pictures where he had both his arms and his sides. He was like, whoa. Listen, he's experienced. He knows uh, what he's doing here. That's, that was nothing wrong with that. I don't even think he did anything. <laughs> that was nothing wrong with that shoelace. I think he redid them. Yeah. And there again, he's, look how he's holding his legs. Match points, three of them for Malaysia here. Boy. Oh. Very tired Seven shots over. there from Coop. 18, 20. If they can, this Chinese pair, Lee and Lee, if they can just take it to a third, surely they'd be favourites. Yeah, definitely. Because he's really looking tired. I know I said you always have something for the third, but... This one is, he looks. Oops, that's a good play by 10. And they've Fantastic. done it. They've done it, Ku and Tan are into the last 16 of these World Championships. What a performance from the duo that will say goodbye, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> what entertainment. Yeah, but that's... Of course, I feel sorry for the two young Best Chinese ball players. Ball I think they have young, tremendous ball potential ball and they will have their time. But on the other hand, I'm such a big fan of, of this Malaysian pair, especially. Well, the good news is we get to see him again this week, and don't we? And we get to see him again. Um, and he's showed us, he's probably showed us more class act shots here and behind the legs and everything that we've probably seen in the whole tournament. So. We have to enjoy a player like this. They, it's not every day we have that. And as I say, I don't think there's anyone on the tour that can do the things that he can do right now. So yeah, we need, we really need to enjoy it. Yeah, everyone loves a character, yeah. and Kukinkia is certainly that. He and Tan.
Boon Hyung are in thanks to a straight games win 21 14 21 18 uh, and in the third round they will meet the uh, Chinese Taipei pair of Li Sheng Wu and Sai Chia Sim Well, how do you follow that? I'm afraid we might not see a, a more entertaining game. Never mind all day, but all week. But uh, we'll give it a go. Ku and Tian through to the last 16. Now it's uh, the Japanese number four seeds of uh, Endo and Hayakawa up against the Germans, Kezbawa and Suvana. Here they come, the uh, Germans. <laughs> 